skills that were born in the woods, where strength, speed, and toughness define success. The same skills on display today by the best lumberjack sports competitors in the nation. Oh. Well, at this point, Matt is one of the best underhand cutters in the country right now. Uh, Jamie Cogger won it last year, Art Cogger Jr. There are a lot of young, strong competitors that are coming after me, and I know that. In this sport, definitely experience pays off. But funny things happen in the steel finals. Tough competition has brought the 10 best here today to vie for the title of U.S. champion and the chance to represent their country at the World Championships in Germany. Time and valuable ramp points are just ticking away. Oh, man. My hands are outstanding. I'm in a zone right now. Uh, with a good cut, there's no one that'll beat me. It's the Steel Timber Sports Series presented by Ram 2013 edition, the U.S. Championship. And for the second year in a row, we welcome you to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and this great facility, the Lumberjack Feud. A great, great place, and we'll learn more about it during the course of the day. 20, 20 competitors have qualified, but we are down to 10. They've come from all over the country. Tommy Sanders here with Kevin Holtz, and this is the big one. This is where all the bragging rights are on the line. Yeah, and I've got three names coming to mind. Two of them happen to end with Coger. Arden Coger Jr. and Matt Coger. I think we're gonna see the Cousins Coger duking it out. I gotta be honest, I'm a little worried about Arden this year. He seems unsettled. He doesn't seem like he's his usual self, calm, cool, collected, confident. And I tell you what that'll open the door for, guys like Dave Jewett, who have been coming on stronger in their chopping this season than I've seen in a long time. Watch for one of those three to really rise to the top. All right, we have six events, six disciplines, three chopping disciplines and three sawing disciplines. We're gonna open it up with chopping, and this is a tough one, the springboard chop. The two members of multi-generational competing families here. In this heat right, of the gentlemen. springboard chop, Mel Lentz, who Diamonds was here ready. with his son, Jason Lentz, who almost ready. made it into this final Three, field, was two, a field of 20 one, on oh. semifinal day. And Matt Coger, whose father, Paul Coger, also a part of that 20-man field, Paul did not make it either. But these two guys, of course, Mel Lentz, the American legend, and Matt Coger, the former college competitor who's made a pretty easy transition to the pro game. Yeah, it's been a natural fit for Matt Coger, and it's, this is an interesting dynamic in this heat. You've got Mel Lentz, his most recent championship was just uh, going on three years ago now. Matt Coger does not have a championship under his belt, but his co cousin Arden Coger Jr. has two under his belt. Oh, and trouble for for Mel Lentz. I can't believe he's going to stick with that. He knows better than this. He's yeah, going to go down and fix that. that. Yeah, bad board hole. But here we go at the 42nd mark. Matt Coger is wading into this block. Remember, we want to see the top athletes under that one minute mark. He is out of wood on the front side, turning and looking to cut this off somewhere in the 57 second range. Oh, he no, gets better 53. than that. Matt Coger all ready to the back side of this block. Three or four solid hits from a switch-handed chopper. Drives off the top of this block. A fist pump for Matt Coger. That's the way to start your day. And Matt Coger's official time, 53.63. A great start for him in this championship competition. Well, you're, you're doing something that most people never saw before. You're chopping in the air. You're up there on top of that platform. You're hitting, playing razor sharp backs that, you know, something you can shave with. And, well, if that isn't dangerous, I don't know what is. Yeah, dangerous enough. Check out Walt Page from an earlier heat. His board set fails, manages to control that axe. If he had lost control of it, that would have been a super dangerous situation. Ready to go now with our final heat of the springboard competition now. The two top qualifying times from our semifinal round belong to this man, Carson Bosworth 
Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, originally from out west in Idaho. About 20 years experience with the Steel Timber Sports Series. Ditto for Dave Jewett, been around for a good long while, has been coming into his own forever. Needs to seal the deal one time at one of these things. 55-06 in the semifinals for Dave Jewett. Two tough, tough guys going up against each other. Yeah, Dave Jewett gets a lot of attention. He gets a lot of talk. Carson Bosworth, not so much. And he might be the most underrepresented competitor we've got in the field here today. He All is right, strong. He is consistent. Starters, and he just is He's ready. there. And I think because Three, he's two, there so one. often, people just forget about him. This is an event, though, where he can pick up some ram points and really set a name for himself. Dave Jewett just got a pole transplant to go along with his wow. kidney transplant. And this thing looks like it's working well for him. It looks a little rough and rowdy, but he seems to be making it work. Good, clean board sets. Carson Bosworth just about a pocket behind him. He's going to have to work hard to make that up in the top. Our best time so far, around 53 seconds. Dave Jewett along with Arden Coger Jr., certainly one of the two favorites to take it all here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Coming up on the 42nd mark, which will leave him about 13 seconds. This is where I get worried about Dave Jewett. He's been getting lost at this point of the block. He starts to go, and there you can see it. The pace has fallen off a little bit. He kind of starts pecking away at the middle of the block. He's looking better than he has in recent past. A big front face. Won't take much to slash that off. Carson Bosworth, though, turning right on his heels. There goes Jewett, under 60 seconds. That's a good effort for him. Carson Bosworth, very, very close. One more hit, should do it. So again, there's further evidence. Carson Bosworth, he's not under a minute, but he's not far over a minute either. He's just right there. He's gobbling up those ram points as he goes. Again, Dave Jewett, definitely one of the co-favorites heading into this competition, along with Arden Coger Jr. Jewett grabs second place points. Arden Coger Jr., third place points, but what a start for Matt Coger. Don't count him out as well. Some great competition going on, and we will continue from the Steel Timber Sports Series U.S. Championships presented by Ram when we return. We are steel, German-engineered chainsaws and landscape products. The majority of which are made here in America by Americans. And exported to over 90 countries around the world. Find out why steel is number one in America at SteelUSA.com. The Steel Timber Sports Series is brought to you by Ram, official truck of the Steel Timber Sports Series. Guts, glory, Ram. And by Steel, the number one selling brand of chainsaws worldwide. Well, plenty of action so far, and of course, we've got some candidates for our Ram Guts and Glory moment. You probably have some as well. Why don't you let us know about it? Tweet at Timber Sports. Use the hashtag guts and glory and keep updating throughout the program because there's much more to come. We got our first chop down, ready to get our next sawing event underway, and that's going to be the stock saw. First heat of the stock saw, our first sawing event, going to be Mike Forrester of Oregon going up against Mike Slingerland, two solid saw operators. Yeah, the Mike and Mike show, both these guys, as you mentioned, great saw operators. Slingerland is an exceptional technician. He really works at this event. He really trains this event. And a lot of guys in the Mid-Atlantic look to Mike Slingerland as a coach in this event. Listen to the consistency of both of these operators. They are pushing these saws into that maximum or optimal torque curve. In this case, it's Advantage Slingerland. They did not waste an RPM. They did not waste a nanosecond. That's exceptional quality sawing. Well, Mike Slingerland with a time just under 11 and a half seconds. He is going to take the top points in the stock saw and a good performance for him as well in the springboard. So Mike Slingerland now in second place in Ram overall points. Well, that, that overall placement, that won't last. I, I'm pretty much an underdog. Not a, quite a strong enough chopper to beat these big guns uh, on a consistent basis, you know. I got to get lucky a lot. Well, four more events left on the card. Two chopping, two sawing. We've got a chopping event for you right now. We are ready to go with the standing block. 
Mike Forrester, a little lackluster so far in Ram overall points. Going up against Mike Slingerland, currently tied. Coming into the standing block, both these guys accomplished standing block choppers. Let's see who prevails in this heat. All right, gentlemen, timers ready. Contestants ready. Three, two, one, go. Both these guys following the same hit pattern. They open one and one and then go into a four hit rotation. Driving into those corners, Mike Forrester gets a foot on a chip, goes almost goes down to the stage. We've got a, a really close heat race going on here. Forrester going to be easily taking Slingerland in this one. Look at the cocks on Mike Forrester's shoes, grabbing that wood chip. He gathers himself up and gets the job done to the backside of this block. I caught myself just in time. I don't know what really happened. I guess I got a chip under my foot, but boy, I thought I was going down. <laughs> I'm glad the chip didn't stick on my foot. And had to change my pattern a little bit in the back. And it took a couple more hits than I was planning on, but clean cut otherwise. Share the same last name, and they are one in two. And Ram overall points coming into the standing block in the foreground. First place, Matt Koger going up against defending champion Arden Koger Jr. Right now, our time to beat held by Forrester with Jewett right on his heels, right around 20 seconds flat. Either one of these guys, the Cousins Koger, could best that time and wind up in the 18, 19 second range. Matt did a little more work in the front. I think he's got a slightly better stick of wood. Here it goes, it's wiggling for Matt. Matt Koger finishes a couple of hits ahead of Arden Koger. That's going to be good enough for third place for him in the standing block chop. And more importantly, gives him a little more distance, a little more pad ahead of Arden Koger Jr. Matt Koger holding on to that top spot in the points race. Arden Koger Jr. now six points behind him. But watch Dave Jewett. He's the guy who's making the move at this point. 